so today i'll be telling you the side effects of this medicine so let's start Its brand name is Vigamox and its generic active pharmaceutical ingredient is moxifloxacin which is 5 mg per ml which is 25 mg in 5 ml. Its manufacturer is Novartis Pharma and it is a sterile ophthalmic solution. Moxifloxacin here is a fluoroquinolone derivative which is used as an anti-infective especially antibacterial. It is used for a variety of conditions and it is used to treat a lot of bacterial infections. Most of this, it is effective against these bacteria, as you can see here, are Micrococcus luteus, Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staphylococcus hemolyticus, and so on. So now let's discuss its common and dangerous side effects. We are going to its leaflet, which is with this eye drop. So now let's discuss its side effects. So it has side effects on our blood and lymphatic system can decrease hemoglobin, it can also cause eye disorders like eye pain, eye irritation, punctate keratitis, dry eye, conjunctival hemorrhage, ocular hyperemia, high eye pruritus, eyelid edema, ocular discomfort. In rare we can see it can also cause corneal epithelium defect, corneal disorder, conjunctivitis, blepharitis, eye swelling, conjunctival edema, vision blur, means blur vision, visual acuity reduced and asthenopia erythema of eyelid. It can also have side effects on our respiratory thoracic and meristinal disorder in which it has nasal discomfort, pharyngolaryngal pain in our pharyngolaryngal area. We can have pain, sensation of foreign body throat, there, it feels like there is something in our throat. It also have gastrointestinal disorders like dysgeusia, which is the bad taste of the mouth. It can also cause vomiting bowel disorders in which it can, it can increase our liver enzyme more like alanine aminotransferase and gamma glutamyl transferase increase it increases more additional adverse reactions which we can see here are obtained from post marketing surveillance which include the following it has immune system disorder in which it can cause hypersensitivity which is very dangerous it can also have nervous system disorder in which specifically it can cause dizziness it can also cause eye disorders as it is an eye drop so it will be having more side effects on our eye and yes it has more local effect and less systemic effect so it can have ulceritis keratitis it can increase lacrimation it can increase photophobia which is the sensitivity to light and it also cause eye discharge it can also have cardiac disorders like palpitation it also has like uh, respiratory thoracic and mediastinal disorder in which it can cause dyspnea it also has gastrointestinal disorder in which it can specifically cause nausea it also has skin reactions and subcutaneous infections it can cause erythema, pruritus, rashes, and urticaria. So these were the side effects of this uh, eye drop. Thumbs up for the company that uh, this drug has a lot of side effects, but they choose this dosage form which has reduced its side effects. If you search Ozifloxacin, it has a lot of side effects, but here it is in is an eye drop formulation, so it has less side effects and more use. So. So that's a very good thing of the company and overall this medicine is very good and it is used to treat a lot of conditions and it, it is effective against a lot of bacteria. You should consult your pharmacist and physician first then you should use it. You shouldn't self-medicate yourself. So that's what today and thank you guys. Lots of love to you especially to my subscriber. You guys support me a lot. So thank you very much and love you all. So I hope you found this video informative, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. Always remember your pharmacist Dr. Durafi in your prayers. Allah Hafiz, take care, Pakistan, Sindhabad. So today I'll be telling you the side effects of this medicine so let's start.
Its brand name is Madrasile and its generic active pharmaceutical ingredient is tropicamide. It is a 15 ml sterile ophthalmic solution. Its manufacturer is Alcon, which is a Novartis company. It is indicated for the diagnostic purposes. It causes midriasis and has cycloplegic activity, causes paralysis of ciliary muscles and it also causes midriasis. It, in madrasas, it dilates our pupil. So now, let's discuss its common and dangerous side effects. We are heading towards leaflet. So we have undesirable effects here. So we'll be discussing it. It has more effects on our nervous system in which it causes dizziness, head, headache, eye disorders in which it can cause blur vision which is very dangerous. It also causes photophobia which is the sensitivity of light. It also causes eye pain. It also causes eye irritation and also ocular hyperemia. It also causes vascular disorders in which it has syncope and hypertension. Syncope and hypertension are very dangerous especially syncope which is the condition in which there is a decreased flow of blood to our brain which is very dangerous. It also and hypertension which is the low lower blood pressure, lowering of blood pressure. It also causes gastrointestinal disorders in which it causes nausea. It also has reaction on our skin and subcutaneous region it can cause rash it also has general disorder and other administration side condition in which drug effect is prolonged especially madrasas now like other cycloplegic drugs it can also increase intraocular pressure and and also precipitate angle closure glaucoma which is very dangerous or and you can see special warning here too so it also causes psychotic reaction and behavioral reactions in the children which is also indeed very dangerous as it is also an anticholinergic drug it can also include flushing of the skin dryness of mucosa and mucosal membrane tachycardia which is the increase of blood pressure decreased secretion in sweat glands dryness of the mouth diminished gastrointestinal motility and constipation it also causes urinary retention and decreased nasal bronchial and lacrimal secretion well it decreases our nasal means nose bronchial in our lungs and our lacrimal in our eye secretions it decreases the secretion so we have also a precaution here too that uh, those people who drive or engage in other hazardous activities should be very vigilant about it because it causes blur vision which is very dangerous and also sensitivity to light it can affect your eye vision as it blurs so the question arises that should we use it or not so we should use it but we should consult our physician and pharmacist first then we should use it if you want to avoid these side effects you should consult your pharmacist regarding it he can he or she can help you regarding it so you can get safe from this side effects so lots of love from my side to you overall this medicine is very good and it is used in various condition and this is a very effective medicine so thumbs up for this medicine do not self medicate yourself and thank you for watching love to my viewers and subscriber thank you so i hope you found this video informative please like it share it and subscribe to our channel always remember your pharmacist dr durafi in your prayers allah hafiz take care pakistan sindabad So today I'll be telling you the side effects of this medicine. So let's start. Its brand name is Simrenza and its generic active pharmaceutical ingredients are Brinzolamide and Primonidine Tartrate and it is 5 ml eye drop and its manufacturer are SA Alcon but in Pakistan it is marketed by or manufactured by sole agent Novartis Pharma. It is used to decrease intraocular pressure of the eye. Now let's discuss its common side effects and its dangerous side effects. So we'll be heading to the leaflet which has come with this eye drop. So let's go to its undesirable effects. So this medicine, Simbrunza eye drop 
has side effects on the on our nervous system i this on our eye on our eye ear and labyrinth vascular respiratory thoracic and on nervous canal these are all disorders which can be caused or which are caused which are caused by this medicine simrenzidor it also has gastrointestinal disorders i think you can also see here from here skin and subcutaneous tissue disorders general disorders and administration to study its side effects just like this that bisolamide and bromidine it will have a lot of side effects of this moreover but here it is used as a ocular dosage form in ocular form so it has less systemic effects and has more effects on local local organ so the more effects will be on our eye as it is ocular ocular preparation so now let's discuss its effects in nervous system disorders we can have common somnolence dysgeusia uncommon maybe that uh, it could be possible is dizziness headache pain in head eye disorders if we talk about conjunctivitis it is inflammation of our conjunctiva in the eye conjunctivitis allergic eye allergy vision blurred your vision could be blurred by this so it is a caution that do not drive avoid using heavy machinery you should be very careful about using it it can also cause eye pain eye irritation dry eye eye pruritus ocular hyperemia blepharitis ocular discomfort corneal er- erosion keratitis punctuate punctuate keratitis blepharitis blepharitis i blepharitis is a condition in which of, there is an inflammation in the eye conjunctival follicle photophobia eye discharge lacrimation increase asthenopia erythema of eyelid rare that could be caused by this medicine is visual acuity reduce lacrimation decrease on air any medicine which has this brinzolamide bromodidine will have same side effects of this if you are seeing another brand which also has these so it's sure that it would also have these side effects because the original thing in it is this benzolamide and bromodidine which are the main co- constituent simrenza is a brand name which is given by the company so actually i'm not, i'm telling you the side effects of these two medicines which are our main concern so now let's continue we have air and labyrinth disorder also in which we have vertigo we have also have vascular disorders like our on vessels we have hypertension it is the decrease in blood pressure respiratory and thoracic and mediastinal disorders in which we have nasal dryness there is a dryness occur in our nasal nasal area upper airway cough syndrome we'll have a lot of cough nasal congestion dry throat gastrointestinal disorders we could have dry mouth nausea dyspepsia abdominal discomfort abdominal discomfort which have pain in our abdomen dyspepsia i mean we have flatulence we have discomfort we have difficulties in digestion in in skin it can cause dermatitis which is inflammation of our skin we could all we could also have allergic reaction we in general disorders we can have asthenia we can have fatigue medication residue present in it so you can also see that there is also an overdose portion so you can see that there are also overdose or overdose levels like electro levels particularly potassium and blood ph levels must be monitored it can cause some symptoms such as hypotension asthenia vomiting lethargy sedation bradycardia bradycardia means in decrease in bp low blood pressure or arrhythmia irregular heartbeat myosis apnea hypotonia hypothermia respiratory depression which is very 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 dangerous respiratory depression and seizures so these are the very very dangerous side effects which occur on overdose if you try to use carefully or consult your physician and pharmacist regarding it and do not self medicate yourself you can avoid this so you should know that these are medicine and you should be handling very carefully and you should not treat them like bunties or like toffees candies like that you should consider it medicine and you should only use on a 
prescription or on advice of a healthcare professional. So you should consult your pharmacist also on overdose and your physician also and do not take it without the diagnosis of physician. And uh, for more details and for its drug interactions, it's whether it is good for you or not and should be should be taken breastfeeding or in pregnancy and also its contraindication in which condition we should not use it and for more its details and its pricing and other details you can consult your pharmacist regarding it. Thank you for watching and that's for today and lots of love from my side to you viewers and subscribers. So I hope you found this video informative. Please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. Always remember your pharmacist Dr. Durafi in your prayers. Allah Hafiz. Take care. Pakistan, Sindhabad.